So what's up gamers, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can optimize Windows 10 for gaming, especially on low-end PCs. And if you guys follow everything that I show you guys in this video, I hope your PC will run a lot faster and much smoother than it is right now. So I hope this video will help you guys. And if this video does help, then please like this video and consider subscribing to our channel as I work for low-end gamers. So without wasting any more time, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, make sure that you're using the latest version of Windows 10. So just go ahead and check updates. Just type update here, then go to check for updates. And make sure that you're up to date. Now, if you think you're not up to date, then just click on check for updates and make sure that you're using the latest version of Windows 10. The next thing you have to do is create a restore point. So in case if you guys did not like what you just did after following everything in this video, then you can just use that restore point to go back to your previous state of your PC. So just type restore point here. Then go to create a restore point. From here select C drive, then go to configure and make sure that you have this thing turned on, which is turn on system protection, then set the max usage to 3 to 4 percent. That will be like 3 GB or 4 GB. So after selecting everything just hit OK and then create a restore point, then type anything here just say restore, then create. So here we are creating the restore point. Now in case if you just want to use that restore point, just click on system restore and here you will find that restore point. So here is the restore. So let's cancel this one now and let's get into the actual optimization stuff. Okay, first things first, let's start off with the easier things, then we'll go to the complicated stuff. So just go to settings first, then go to gaming, then make sure that you have Xbox game bar turned off, then go to capture, then if you are not going to use Xbox Game Bar for recording, then I recommend that you turn off everything here. After that, close this, then open Command Prompt. Then type ipconfig slash flash DNS. Well, what this will do is just delete all the cache DNS files, then close this. The next thing you have to do is reduce the windows animations so that everything loads a lot faster. So for that, right click on this PC, then go to properties, then go to advanced system settings, then from here go to performance, then select settings, and set it to adjust for best performance, then hit apply. By the way, before hitting apply, make sure to tick these two boxes. Okay, then OK, then OK this and then close this. Then go to power management. Then go to additional power settings. Then select high performance from here. Now if you don't see high performance, then click on create a power plan and select high performance. Then just save it. Okay, after selecting high performance mode, just close this. Then let's delete all the cache and temporary files. So for that open run by pressing windows plus R, then type temp, then delete everything from here. Just skip the ones that you can't. Then open run again. Then type percent temp percent. Then delete everything from here again. Then go to run again and delete all the prefetch files. Skip the ones that you can't, then close this. So here we already cleared all the cache files. After that what you have to do is delete all the unnecessary applications from your PC. So for that just open this PC, then go to computer, then select uninstall or change a program. From here you have to kind of guess what you need and what you don't need. So you have to figure that out yourself. So just uninstall everything that you don't need from here. Now I have nothing to uninstall from here but you have to figure that out yourself. So after uninstalling everything useless, just close this. Then if you use Discord, then make sure that you have hardware acceleration turned on. So open Discord, then go to user settings. 
then go to voice and video and make sure that you have this turned on okay the next thing you have to do is close all the startup applications so just open task manager then go to startup then from here disable everything that you don't immediately need after turning your pc on for suppose i don't need discord right after i turn off my pc and discord takes a long time to load so i'm just going to disable it from here as you guys can see i have epic games launcher disabled and messenger disabled and all the other things that i don't need i don't immediately use after turning my pc on i have all of them disabled from here and as nowadays most games have their own launcher i think it's really necessary that you reduce the startup applications by yourself so select everything that you don't think is necessary and then disable them from turning on on startup and that's how your pc will boot up a lot faster now the next thing you have to do is do a little disk cleanup so just go here and type disk cleanup and select the drive from here for me it's c drive now select the c drive first then select the other drives so just select c drive then hit ok here you'll see all the stuff that can be cleaned now my pc is quite clean so i don't have much stuff here but you might have two or four gigabytes of stuff that you have to clean so just select everything and then select clean up system files now after going to clean up system files here you can see i have all the cleaning option then hit ok then you will get this pop up if you want to permanently delete these files just hit delete files and that will be it so here i am cleaning my c drive now i highly recommend you keep your c drive as clean as possible as this is the main drive that has windows on it and if this drive is not clean enough then your pc will become a lot slower so make sure to keep this drive clean as possible and the next thing you have to do is make sure that you are using the updated drivers. Now if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, go to NVIDIA's official website and download your driver from there. If you have an AMD graphics card, then go to AMD's official website. And if you have Intel HD GPU, then go to Intel's official website. The links will be in the description so that you can easily find it from there. Okay, so there we have all the things that you have to do. I hope after doing this, your PC is a lot faster now. Le now let's talk about a lot of things that a lot of YouTubers will say to do, but I don't recommend them myself. So first of all, do not use a cleaner app. So there are a lot of cleaner apps like C Cleaner, CC Cleaner, stuff like that. I do not recommend them because they will just use your resources from your PC and they don't make any sense at all. So I don't recommend you use a cleaner app. And another thing is that a free antivirus is not that useful. So if you are using a paid antivirus then feel free to use it. Otherwise I recommend that you use Windows Defender because Windows Defender nowadays is a really good defender actually. So that's all the things that I have to say about don'ts. So guys, this was it for today. These are all the do's and don'ts that you have to do to optimize your Windows 10. So I hope after, so I hope your PC got a lot faster. So if you guys do like this video, then please like it and subscribe to the channel. That will mean a lot to me. So I'll see you guys in the next video.